Hey everyone, this is Carolise, and today we're going to be talking about requirements. We're going to talk about what are requirements and how to write good requirements. Don't go anywhere, I will be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody today we're going to be talking about business requirements and so what is a requirement what is a business requirement a business requirement is a condition or capability needed by a user to solve a problem or achieve an objective it's a condition or capability that must be met or possessed by a system or system component to satisfy a contract standard specification or other formally imposed document so basically, in layman's terms, a business requirement is simply a feature that a product or service must have in order to be useful to its stakeholders. And that I got from the BA Times. By the way, go check out the BA Times blog. It's very, very informative. And they have a lot of good articles up there on business analysis. And also come check out my blog, carolise.com. I have a lot of templates up there. You can go get some free templates for your project. And I also have a link to my latest video and all these other things. So go check it out. Support me. Come on. Right. So this is what a business requirement is. Right. Um, so there are different types of business requirements. There's a high level business requirement and a more detailed business requirement. So the high level business requirement typically is being given to you from management, from senior management you know, senior executives, CEOs, CIOs, etc. they would have done the analysis most likely, and they would have some big picture goals that they want to meet for their initiative for the year or, you know, some project that they have already endeavored to start. And so they give you the goals most likely, and those are really your high level business requirements. Now, there are cases where you as a business analyst will come up with these high level business requirements. That's okay too. But typically in a big corporation or even a small company, these are tending to be um, done at an executive strategic level and then they give that to you as you know the goals that you should have for the project that you're working on now an example of a high level business requirement would be you know reduce the cost of invoicing customers right so that's a very big task right reduce the cost it doesn't have any specifics to it sometimes they'll have you know they'll put like percentage by 20 percent by 50 percent just to give you some some kind of metrics to work towards but generally these you know high level requirements are big picture statements right for things that you're going to aspire to achieve but you don't really have the details yet as to how to actually get there now the detailed requirements normally come later on after you have your high level business requirements and you sit down and you do all your analysis and your elicitation all that stuff and you come up with the detailed requirements so Detailed requirements are the specific needs of a particular user or in a specific scenario. It's very, very minute detail and very, very specific. So for example, allow the user to click on a customer name and then display that customer's account history. That's a very specific task for a very specific purpose, right? That's a detailed requirement. Now, there are many terms for business requirements. People are calling all kinds of things. People are coming up with their own names and different companies call it different things. So the culture is different <laughs> and they name things differently. So it's a little confusing. But typically what you will hear out there is business requirement, user requirements, stakeholder requirements, system requirements. And as I talk about system requirements, I do have a video that talks about whether or not the business analysts should be writing system requirements. So that's a very interesting discussion that I think you should go check out and I'll put the link um, somewhere up here so you can go find it. And I also have a blog article that goes into more detail, give you examples of, you know, when is it okay to write system requirements and when is it okay to leave that up to the developers, right? So system requirements is another term that we'll hear pretty often when we talk about business requirements sometimes, right? Technical requirements functional requirements there's also non-functional requirements sometimes you even hear business goals and project objectives and normally the business goal and the project objective tend to speak to the high level business requirement 
these are the big picture items that we just talked about. Everything else, everything else tends to be detailed business requirements. So here's an example of some of those different types of requirements. So for example, at the business goal level, high level business requirements level, you could have something like reduce incorrectly processed orders by 50% by the end of next quarter. So this is very, this is like a smart objective, right? There is a specific amount, a specific date, you know, it's very, it's, it's well articulated, right? What you need to achieve. Increase repeat orders from customers by 10% within six months after deployment, right? So that is another big goal to achieve, and that's a high level business requirement. Now the user or the stakeholder level, you have things like add new customer account, view order history, um, check order status, create new order. These are specific features or actions that you want your user or your stakeholder to take. And so those are stakeholder level requirements. Then you have functional or solutional requirements. So display customer last name as a link to account history or allow sorting by account opening date. These are specific manual actions that this user is going to take when they interact with your system. So this is at the functional level. This is real functionality through solutioning, right? So you want to make sure you document every step that's going to be taken to achieve, you know, the user's uh, requirements and then that achieves the business high level requirements. See how that works? Then you have non-functional requirements and these are normally about you know, concurrent users and performance and, you know, just look and feel sometimes it could be a non-functional. And then sometimes you have implementation or transitional requirements where two systems are talking to each other and you want to make sure they communicate properly. You know, there's data flowing from here and over here. Where does it go? So those are some of the more low level <laughs> detail transitional or implementational requirements. So there could be much more. This is just like, you know, this is just typical of the different types of requirements, but it could be much more because, you know, every company is doing their own thing. <laughs> there is different scenarios based on your industry. So there's just know that the, this will get much more, much more detailed. So basically what we discussed today was what is a business requirement, right? It's, it's just generally speaking, the business requirement is a feature that a product or service must have in order to be useful to its stakeholders. It sounds like a very broad definition, but that's really what it is. And so I've just explained to you the different types of requirements, the high level requirement, the detail requirements, how that detail requirement is broken down. So you have a better idea of, you know, what is a business requirement? So there you have it guys. That's it for now on the business requirement. That was a very good discussion. I hope you learned something. Like the video, comment on the video, share the video. Come on, support me. I'll also be coming up with a video on is business requirement the same as waterfall? Because some people think once you talk about requirements, they think waterfall, 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 and they don't realize that's not the case. So we're going to talk about that next. We're also going to talk about the business requirement and the business rules. What's the difference there? What's the difference between a business requirement and business rules? And also the business requirement and your use case document. How does that differ? So we're going to have those three videos that I'm going to upload shortly. So check those out. Again, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like and share the video, and I will see you next time. This is Carolise. Take care. Bye.